Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna open up a Murders of Karlov Matter, um, what is this, a bundle. It's got the new play boosters in it. There's nine of them, right? Nine? Nine? 14 card Murders of Karlov Manor play boosters. It's got a special dice that's missing one of the numbers on it. I think it's missing two numbers. Um, I'm gonna open it up, find out what a play booster is, and uh, see how much I like it. I didn't do the pre-release because I wasn't feeling well. And also, you know, I just uh, didn't really take to the cards in the set. But this was a good deal. I got it for a good price. And um, I do want to actually crack into it and see what it's all about. So let's get going. Here we go. Now with nine play boosters. It was right there the whole time. I could have just seen it. Murders at Karlov Manor. The bundle. What's on the back? Track the clues, crack the case. Anyway, let's open this bundle. I'm not going to read it to you. You can do that yourself. Open it up and mess that up. Great. Let's just uh, do that and get into this bundle. Find out what is all... Oh, okay. There's lots of things in here. Just ripping things up. Ooh, that's cool. Massacre Girl and Krenko Goblin. Cool. What's on the back? What's that? Ooh, she's very good. Avacyn. Um, who's, I don't know who that is. Judith the Scourge, and this is a new character. And, uh, I don't know. Okay, there's that, and then there was a paper in here. Let's see what that was. Oh, someone died. Someone died. Does it say? Doesn't it say? Doesn't say. Tessa Karlov. What the heck is this? Ruby Rose. At 216, you can see through a diabolical scheme. Reach out to your connections. Continue your investigation at RavnikaDetectiveAgency.com. Looks like one of those 3D things. If I had, like, a 3D glasses, I could do it. Don't have that near me. All right, that was all that was in the box. And let's see what we've got inside. There's the die. This is the die that's missing numbers on it. It's kind of orange, pinkish orange I'm looking at here. Um, not quite red like I thought it would be, but with bright blue numbers. So that's kind of annoying. It's missing the number two and it's missing number 16. Anyway, weird. Don't know why we would have a dice that we could not use as a dice tracker. But look, you can see all the way through it. Anyway, put that over here with this little thing. Um, here's the boosters. Let's see what this looks like. That's the new detective guy all the counters that you can get a little lock symbol on the planeswalker thing she's murdered and another lock thing all right here we go all this stuff okay there's our promo axebane ferox death touch haste ward collect evidence for it seems like a good card the rest is land packs in it but i think there's full art lands in it and those token cards Shall I open it? Oh, well, it's a box opening all after all, right? Let's see what's inside. Because I thought they were full art lands, but they might not be. So, okay, get off my hand. Thank you. Hey, they are full art lands. Look at that. Very, oh, they gave us five full art lands and a bunch of foils. Well, that was a fake out. Oh, okay, so it's mixed. Anyway. Still nice that they included some full arts this time. Let's get to cracking. Nine boosters, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay, let's do it. I was drafting this digitally, and I guess I got lucky because I pulled like six of the mythics, so it was very fun. Nervous Gardener. Rot Farm, what? Is, what? Mortipede? Okay. Hotshot Investigators. Seasoned consultant. So there's Fort Slime Against Humanity. Yay, that's a good one. That's a good card. We'll put that there. Makeshift Binding. I like this new detective art. Auspicious Arrival. Exit Specialist. Persuasive Interrogators. And Chalk Outline. Uh, we, we were at the Uncommons, right? So that's... No, okay. That's three Uncommons. And Crime Novelist. That's the fourth one. That's a great pack. Hit two of the Chase Commons and Uncommons there. Case of the Ransacked Lab. This is great. I had this in my little digital draft. And that's the foil. Cool. Rare pile and all the other nonsense. Got a clue token with daggers in it. And an art card on the backside. Very neat. 
All right, so that is a change. They've made clue tokens, and then on the back side they have art instead of an advertisement or the regular magic card backing, which is rare on the back side of tokens these days. It's kind of fun, but I've heard there's a low rate of tokens in the packs. Let's find out. Second pack. Got another art card, it looks like. Airtight Alibi, Alias, yeah, Assistant. Hotshot Investigators, our first repeat. And let's just keep going. Oh, wait, no, actually, we got three auspicious arrivals now. And that, let me, so do we start the uncommons there? Okay. That's four uncommons. Look at that cat tearing into that meat. Hide in plain sight. Look at the top five cards of your library. Cloak two of them and put the rest on the bottom of your library. Love me some morph. Innocent bystander. It's a foil. Planes and a signature card with a goblin. That's pretty cool. All right. Ooh, look at that. So it's Fugitive Codebreaker. We'll put that in that pile. Put the rest here. Did I have the rare separated? Oh, well, that's something for future me to sort out. Third pack, we've got some punch out tokens. All right, make your move. That's a good card. Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with power four or greater at instant speed. Love it. It was in my draft, that's why I love it. All right. Private Eye. Other detectives you get plus one, okay, fun. Magnetic Snuffler, the showcase version. I've heard that's pretty good. I haven't played it yet. Mm, what's this? Cease and Desist, fun. Little quirky, sudden setback. Kellen, Inquisitive Prodigy. This is pretty good too, with Vigilance. Yup. And Goblin Mask Maker and a Full Art Mountain. And Suspected, these are the stun counters and punch outs and stuff. Fun? Yeah, future me is gonna sort out these cards. If I like it, I'll separate it. Normally I separate them out, but uh, you know, I'm off the cuff today. Off the cuff? Off whatever it is, I'm off of it. Seasoned Consultant, Shock, that's a really cool artwork. Airtight Alibi, I'm already seeing a lot of repeats here. On the job, Shady Informant, they went that way, this way. Leering Onlooker, Wrench, Lumbering Laundry, Unyielding Gatekeeper for the Rare, Whoa, a Mythic, Trostani Three Whispers, I heard they did it, Pick Your Poison, this is a foil, that's a good one, because it gives you three modes and you can choose any of them, each opponent is doing all of the things that are bad here, so I like it, we'll put that aside, it's a good hit, and a Mountain and another Punch Out card, Pack 4, so actually, there was a Mythic in there, let's uh, put that aside, that was a Fun little hit there. I should really be separating these out because we need the data. All right, going to pause this video for you and separate them out or just go rapid speed. Okay, so I did a, a little bit of sorting here. This was the only uh, detective showcase, I'll call it. And these were the ones that I was excited about right here. And then a mythic pile and a rare pile. So let's keep going. So far we've got four rares, one mythic, and all the exciting stuff up here. The rest is, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll be more organized now, I promise. All right, here we go. We've got an advertisement. Chaos Lord can attack the first turn it comes into play on a side, except the turn it first comes into play. And what? They're just confusing people. They want us to be confused with all the reading, and that's exactly what we are. All right, all right. So, there's a Forensic Gadgeteer, the top selling card on Card Market this week. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, investigate, which means create a clue token. Activate abilities of artifacts you control cost one less to activate, which is awesome because that means you pay one and draw a clue instead of draw two, uh, pay two, draw a clue, um, draw a card. Anyway, trying to think too fast for my brain. This effect can't uh, reduce the mana that is, mm-hmm, you read it. So that's a good one. That's a good hit. Little menace dog here. 
that and a, a human token with the ad on the back. All right, cool. That there, that there, and the rest. Let's keep it going. Pack one, two, three, four, five, six. We're on the six pack. Well, that mythic hit is not greatest for me because I don't play those colors. So let's hopefully we get something better, but who knows, they're play boosters. All right, that's one, two, three. Ooh, Assassin's Trophy, I do play that. Very nice, good, good hit for me. Case of the Ransacked Lab, that's a double tap on the rare there. And okay, so one, two, three. So this pack only had three uncommons and one foil uncommon there and a clue token. Well, I'm seeing a lot of uh, tokens here in the packs. All right, next play booster, number eight. Oh, it looks like a real advertising pack. Do it. Market Watch Phantom. Pick your poison. Okay, that'll go into the fun pile. Unscrupulous Agent. Suspicious Donation. Gadget Technician. Gravestone Strider. Behind the Mask. Here we go with the uncommons. One, two, three. Nice, it's a land. Four. Anzrag's Rampage. All right, cool. And we got one of the Showcase Detective Cards. It's two of those. And uh, wow, look at that Thopter. Interesting. All right. Well, final pack, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. It looks okay. I don't know. Seems like it would be fun. All right. Suspicious detonation, cold case cracker, that thing, that thing, that thing. What's it do? Yeah. That thing, that thing. Seeing a lot of replication here. Deadly complications. Story spotlight. She was on the artwork that we had there. Hard-hitting questions. All right, and Yaras, Roar of the Old Gods. Other creatures you control have haste. That's very useful. And uh, we'll just put that there because it deals with morph stuff and we are not about to read all of that. And a clue token. So, things I've seen online is that there aren't a lot of tokens in the packs, but when I look here, I've got one, two, three, four, five tokens, two punch outs and an art card. So I guess if you're drafting, you wouldn't want to see all of these show up. You would just purely want to see this, but half the time you get advertisement cards and regular draft packs. So do these make a scene? These look like they make a scene. So we got our duplicate there. I can't really connect the dots on that. All right, so I, I imagine that something like this connects. Oh, look, I have a piece that connects. Interesting. So they, they did some fun stuff like that. I didn't hit any of the lands in this one. None of the surveil lands. There's a great cycle of lands here that when you come into play, you can take a card and put it into your graveyard or put it back on the top of your deck, which helps you thin out your deck. And it's also searchable with basic land types. Let's count the rares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with one duplicate rare and one mythic. So, you know, a little bit less than a set booster, I would say, because you end up with like 11 or so set booster rares. But in a draft, you know, might be worth it. So glad to see that I got slimes and crime novelist. This will be great for my artifact deck. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!